All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. So it feels like every video we're doing right now is a new shaft. New shaft, it's new shaft season. Yeah, I mean, obviously, any time there's a new shaft comes out, they, it does get overshadowed in release season by uh, new heads that the OEMs are offering. That's what you guys are really paying attention to. What's the latest and greatest from the Callaways, Titleist, TaylorMade, Ping, etc. So we are seeing new product coming through the door and we have a brand new one from VA Composites. Victor has a new line that's coming into the, the stronger player, the, yeah. the faster swing speed. Yep. You know, if you want to designate it, which we don't love to do by ball flight, this would be a kind of lower ball flight uh, or a shaft to promote a yeah. lower ball flight. We have the Sinister Michael. Sinister, it's uh, it's bright. There's lots uh, lots going on, but it's uh, kind of like a Ventus Black competitor. Yeah, yeah, Victor's never been accused of being understated with the shaft designs. No. Uh, one thing we'll say about that, and uh, they do have a lot of pop when they're on the wall. People are very drawn to them in our stores. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then obviously once they test them, then the true quality of the design and the materials, Tory uh, Graphite using this, the yep. finest, best materials uh, out there, Mikey. Uh, expecting big, big things, good stuff. Yeah, it's nice to have uh, another contender in the demo matrix that it's not just Ventus all the time, yeah. especially for that stronger, faster player. Exactly. Uh, when we were kind of getting the brief on, on the new shaft line, Victor was quick to say that he didn't really feel that in his lineup, he had something that was for the, the really aggressive swinger. Like you said, you know, rightly to compare every shaft to the Ventus line is the most popular, best known line out there right now. This is a Ventus Black. Yep. That's exactly what they've went for here, is, uh, is that really kind of tight dispersion, flat flight. So keen to see you know, how that compares. We done some testing yesterday when we were up here on the brand new uh, Mitsubishi Tensei Blue mm -hmm. 1K. Very different profile, stiffer handle, totally. softer tips. So let's hit them against one another today. Yeah. It's quite an opposing bend profile for us to talk about and show you guys. And again, it'll be another example whether you know, shafts are designed to go low, do go low, and whether shafts are designed to go higher, do go high. Yep. Uh, we, we see different things and we think you might too. Thirteen six and twenty four, just pulley. It turned a little bit. Ball speed was good. Yeah. That was struck. Nice flight, twenty two and thirteen. Okay, Fraz, Sinister, 65X. Yeah. One click lower, that's the setting you've always played. Mm -hmm. um, Tensi Blue, it, it floated up a bit. It's, it's up there, isn't it? We've got a bit of wind here to deal with today, so yeah. I'm interested if flattening that flight is, is gonna be better. 10 grams heavier, Yeah. the 65 gram X-Flex, um, comes in at 66 grams. As we said yesterday, the Blue uh, 1K is about 55, 55 grams-ish. Yeah. So, yeah, a little bit heavier for me, you don't mind that. It's actually half an inch shorter as well. Mm -hmm. I've cut this to bang on 45, so. Yeah, standard. So let's see what we get. Okay. Different. Yeah. I mean, Fish. didn't move. No. 155, 12 launch, 26 spin. Okay. So not, so lower, flatter, but not, not with less spin necessarily. No, no. That was definitely low on the blade. Yeah. I can tell you one thing, this thing's straight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very haven't, straight. Haven't moved it much, and it's no. definitely a lot lower in peak height. What is the peak height there? Like the last two, 94 feet in the air. And your Tensi Blues, 115. Yeah. You said that the highs was even at 125. 125, yeah. That was good. 12 launch, 2200 spin. And that was that was a little thin again. Yeah. Hmm. Which, is, which is not bad. Speed's okay. I'll tell you one you, thing. You can tell it's stiff. It does not feel boredy right, okay. or hard to manage yeah, yeah, or yeah. any of those things that make you feel like you have to do something different. It just has less of that kick right at, at impact. Yeah, like it's good. just there. You just it's know it's right there. Sometimes you get those shafts that are meant for that faster, stronger player and they feel boring. Horrendous. Horrendous, yeah, and yeah. For me, yeah. For me, that is a lot about torque. Yeah. When we talk guys about torque and when a shaft company really is trying to give someone, because some people love the feeling of, of very low torque yep. in the mid twos, yep. 2.5, 2.6 degrees of torque. 
That's what they're looking for. Don't want to feel anything. Just right. go at it hard. That's fine. This is three degrees of torque, which is low. Yeah. But this this feels really nice. Yeah, interesting. It's a good good combo. Hmm. How's that? One five seven eleven launch spins down two thousand. Eighty feet in the air. Wow, eighty. Yeah. That's quite a difference. Like I'm not swinging at these. Like out my boots by any means, but no. you know it's it's coming out just very piercing. Exactly what he's designed it to do. That lower lower launching shaft. Yeah, the biggest thing for me, Mikey, I'm trying to kind of like sum up through my delivery. What does the shaft, from a timing perspective, want me to do? It doesn't feel like it wants to obviously kick, so right. I feel like I have to almost lead the shaft a little bit more huh, okay. because I'm not I don't have the shaft sort of unloading that, that's just how, this is my kind of perception of it right work. now. I don't mind it. But even that, that's up in launch, but way down in spin. Yeah, 15, I mean, that's be... 15 launch, 1890 spin, 100 yeah. feet in the air. Um, yeah, 280 carry. All right, Maestro, what's going mm -hmm. on? I mean, it does what it says it does, right? Little lower launch. Yeah. Um, I mean, we say shafts don't spin, but that sinister shaft, that spin definitely dropped well, a little bit. A little bit more, yeah. Um, speed very, very close to being the same. Efficiency numbers bang on the same, um, but it's definitely a launch and spin. Yeah, we'd probably say within that, though, so tight, mm -hmm. 260 RPMs of spin of difference. Yeah. And those are, those are like... A couple of millimeters yeah, yeah. Of, of strike high and low that kicks one up. I mean, definitely, I think the blue found itself in the perfect window that I love, 13 and 22, call it 23. Yeah. Um, you know, I was straighter with Sinister, that's for sure. Definitely. Way less definitely. left, averaging 20 yards a curve with the blue. Not, I don't ever want to see no, that. No, no. And the average peak height, too, like, every time we look down the line, yeah. it was lower, 94, yeah, 95, were uh, where Tensi wants to kick up a bit. So when it comes to obviously distance and speeds, you know, 108 club speed versus 165, probably the length and weight yeah, contributing to totally. most of that. Ball speed is attributed obviously to the club head speed mm -hmm. jump. Spin axis tilt, another huge one, 0 0.5. Sinister was draw a straight line, frozen yeah, yeah, ropes. Yeah. yeah, it's nice to see. It is nice to see. Both very efficient, 146, so uh, like what we're seeing from that. Guys, I think when we talk about Stiff profiles and, and softer profiles, tips off. I, I think of it that way, not not that way. Mm. I think strike dictates most of the up and down, the launch, then the spin. I, I actually like to think of, of shaft stiffness more about a dispersion, your lateral dispersion, more than vertical dispersion. Mm. I think that's what it does most. I think this is another uh, sort of way of showing that. We obviously know in dynamic motion, the shaft is contributing to the deflection of the head itself, or the shaft deflecting moves the head itself. To me, I felt like I caught a few more toe strikes yeah. with the blue, yeah. and that again brought us in a little bit more of that kind of right to left shape. So, yeah, dispersion killer. That's what I'd call the uh, the sinister. I think it's a bit of a dispersion Definitely killer. Definitely throw it into a three wood too. Yeah, wouldn't wouldn't Great argue with that. Great shaft. Okay. All right, guys. Um, for those of you who are maybe struggling with a little bit of accuracy, I think this could be a really good option for you. Um, more testing for me to, to do with it. I think there's there's an interest in totally. trying to find something that goes as straight as that. Probably best of both worlds is what I'm really looking for, yeah. but something fast and straight, uh, aren't we all? Yeah, no kidding. Definitely. I'll, I'll take two. Take two. All right, guys, stay tuned for more. We'll see you again soon.